All right, it is this week's Washington Huddle Web Exclusives here with Commanders Post Game Show radio host Scott Jackson. I'm Craig Loper. All right, Scott, a 30 to 28 loss for the Commanders up there in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Uh, Sam Howell bench for the second week in a row, six of 22, uh, not a lot of yards and two interceptions. What allowed Jacoby to come in and create another second half surge in your eyes? More decisive. Uh, he, he really want, knows he wants to get rid of the ball. He isn't wasting time. He's getting rid of it quickly. He gets his progressions quickly. He gets his playmakers in position to actually do something when they get the football. Just feels like a, a guy who, again, just like Sam Howell, didn't know this offense, never played for Eric Bieniemy uh, or the Chiefs at, at any point in his career, came in here and was starting from square one in the offseason, but has really mastered what they're trying to do, as you've seen the last couple weeks uh, in the Rams game and obviously this game against the Jets as well. He's just come in and given them some life in this offense and given them a chance to evaluate what this offense should look like as opposed to what it has been looking like. Uh, earlier in the week, Ron Rivera was pretty tight-lipped on the starting quarterback situation. I personally think you go with Jacoby. That's just how I feel the last two weeks. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I don't think it matters. I mean, if you're trying to really, you know, trust the process to steal the uh, Sixers term for, you know, Josh Harris, the, the new owners, you, you roll at Sam Howell. You just keep throwing him out there. And if he plays bad, you pull. That's fine. But at least get, let him start, let him start, and see if he can play himself through this funk. Probably the way to go, but it's a shorter leash maybe. They're not going to win. They shouldn't win the 49ers game no matter who starts. Cowboys game may depend on the Cowboys mindset going into that game. But, I mean, at this point, the wins are more damaging. And I know it sounds crazy to think that way. And, oh, you can't set that kind of culture. Well, none of these people are going to be here next year. They're setting the culture now, so it doesn't even matter uh, what, what happens there. And, and it, everybody's going to be getting a fresh start with a new staff next season. So. Uh, the worst thing you could do is have one of these empty calorie wins late in the season and mess up your draft position and maybe miss out on getting a future franchise quarterback or making a trade for a team that's desperate for a quarterback and moving back and collecting draft picks, which you need. So I, I don't think it really matters much at this point which one of these guys, flip a coin, starts. Uh, but I think it might not be the worst thing in the world if you're Ron Rivera, who you started the season putting your neck on the line for this quarterback, is to continue to try to build some type of confidence with him going into the offseason. Uh, commanders hosting the 49ers at FedEx Field on Sunday. Sunday, we expect the 49ers, bang, bang, Niner gang. That's what, they, yeah. that's what they say, right? I mean, they're going to pack that place out. Yeah, they're always, I mean, they, they travel well. They, I think the last time they were Washington, there was a bunch of them there as well. Uh, no different here. And if you're a Washington fan, you know, good chance to sell your tickets, make some money. <laughs> uh, maybe pay for, pay for the season and recuperate some losses. But, yeah, I mean, I... They have a lot to be excited about. They're still going to be the one seed, even though they were terrible against the Ravens. Uh, this is a, the, the team in, that, in Maryland that you can beat. So uh, I, I think they'll show out and enjoy it. All right. He is Scott Jackson. I'm Craig Loper. That has been this week's Washington Huddle Web Exclusive.